this video from samforshelp.co.uk. We're taking a look at cashier or clerk programming on the NR510R register. So on the machine, if you've got the standard memory allocation set up, you've got a maximum of 10 clerks or cashiers. Um, as standard, all the operators have full access to the machine so they can go to all the modes um, and they can sign on really easily by just pressing the number and then the CLK hash button here. Um, clerks are important because obviously you need at least one logged on to the machine um, to actually use it. If you don't sign on, you can't use the register. If you're only, if it's a small business or family business where it's the same person on the till or a trusted person on the till all the time, or only one operator at a time, then you may not uh, need the cashier programming. But if you've got lots of people using the machine, then it uh, it might be useful to set up um, cashiers properly on there. So in this video, we're not going to cover secret code logins. We're just doing basic cashier um, programming uh, for the clerk secret code login I'll do a separate video and I'll put a link to it at the end of this one okay so for basic uh, cashier programming you need the key marked P and you need to turn it around to the PGM position and then you can either arrow down to line 5 or simply press 5 and then when that line is highlighted you press cash amount tend and then you type in the number of the clerk or cashier you want to program so I'm going to start with number one, which might already have some programming on, but we'll take a look. And then you press cache tend. So this has got clerk one on there. Um, so the first thing we want to do is give them a name. So where it says clerk zero one, you press cache tend, and you can now type in a name the same way you would have um, typed in your PLU programming or your receipt header message programming. Once you've typed in your name, you press Cash 10 to save. And then we arrow down to some of the options. So we'll look at setting up passwords in a separate video because uh, it's it's more complicated than it looks. Um, we'll also look at training clerks in a separate video. So really, we're looking at the um, authority levels of this operator. We've given them the name Mike. Um, do we want to allow them into the manager mode? If you don't, you can press the cash button to go into that option and then arrow down to no same with the Z mode so you've got total control over which operators go into which modes so we'll let this operator do void mode so we can leave that at N when you're happy with your programming for that clerk you can press clear and then type in the number of the next one you want to program so clerk 2 cash 10 to enter we're just going to do two on this machine, just to, just to show you really, to demonstrate how to do it. We call this one manager, and we're going to give them full access. So they've got access, yes, to X reports, Z mode, P mode. We'll probably turn off S mode. Um, and allow void mode and then we can return back to the main screen so you press clear to get back to program mode and then turn the key round to reg so now you can see straight away operator one is logged on and their name appears on the screen uh, so when they process a transaction uh, their name's recorded on the customer receipt if we don't want to log on as the manager to um, Clark hash the sign in button and then again if I process a transaction as the manager it'll say on the receipt manager uh, if we have a quick look at the report mode as well um, let's have a look at Z reports you can do the same in the manager mode as well you can actually do a report by Clark so you can track sales it might be useful if it's um, sales um, commission based payments you can do a daily or periodic card report showing you how much each operator has taken so that appears on there but I'll do a more detailed video showing you all the different um, clerk and operator reports and that'll probably be appearing on screen now or very shortly I'll put a link up to that and I'll also put a link up to how to set um, passcodes to control who can uh, log on to the machine okay I hope that video has been helpful uh, please check out the videos that are appearing on screen now 
uh, or you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforesthelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.